Hope you guys liked that little intro that I made right there. We're going to do that for the few races here. That was the points coming into this race here for Homestead. We're going to look here for, at our new drivers for this race weekend here. Nick Perkles is back, guys, driving for Mountain Dew Racing here. Alongside him is the um, number 97 there. That's Zeb Stark there, replacing for FBR there. Nick per Mace has the pole for today's race in the 48 Chevrolet. You also got Matthew Rodriguez. And um, Jeffrey Lynn in this race too. But here we are guys. Green flag is out for Homestead. Coming around to the complete lap number one of the race here. Already three wide. There's a wreck in the back there. Nick Mace takes us under the caution flag. Looks like it's going to have to deal right here with Cooper Siron here. He's right here on the inside. Oh, Emma White's going to get into Stephen Jenkins. And right around they go. Oh, the point leader right there, Jordan Fisher. And man, that was a very, very heavy lick there with Cooper Siron. Looking at it again here from a spectator. There goes um, Stephen Jenkins off the bumper of Emma White up the track. There's um, Jordan Fisher right there. A heavy lick there with all them guys there. And then there's, I think that might be the four. Rick Schultz trying to get by there. But, man, that was a heavy lift. On board Cooper Siron, his day ends early here. You see how heavy that impact was there. Probably not the breath out of Siron. On board the point leader of Jordan Fisher. Also with Matthew Arriguez, this is his first race back in a while. He also got tangled up with Dilla Young here. They kind of caught corner panels there and they spun around right there. They got some damage there, but they should be, able to be okay to continue on there. Getting ready to go back green, Nick Perkles with a great run right here with Mountain Dew Racing inside the top 10. He had a good qualifying effort, he had a good car too. And he's trying to keep himself up high in the point standings after missing Talladega. He's got a new team there with Mountain Dew Racing. It was a downgrade on my part that Mountain Dew Racing is not the best team out there compared to Corweiser. But he had a good car for today, and it's a tough luck for him. But up front here, Charles Sanford for Yant Motorsports is going to take the lead here. However, a little later on, here comes Eric Burton. To the inside there of the number eight car there. Two Fords going at it for the top spot. They are dead even down the straightaway. Charles Sanford for Yant Motorsports. Eric Burton for Swagger Motorsports here. Eric Burton peeking out in front just a little bit there. Eric Burton takes the lead here. Jeffrey Lynn for Horizon Group is really impressing me here. Jeffrey Lynn drove that 45 car for... Um, two races this season and he also drove the four car for monster energy racing there so he has drove a dodge a lexus and now an audi for this season this is his fourth race of this season out of 13 races and he's right now inside the top 10 doing a really good run for this um deal right here racing only two races for um replacing the suspended perkins here oh boy four wide up front here Four wide for the top spot up here, right here around third place there. Bassinger, fourth in the point standings. Turner, Sanford, Commons. Look at Dom Caps there. Another good race weekend for him. He's right up here as well. And um, boy, they are racing really hard here. But Turner looks like he may be able to get clear of that spot. But Mace is trying to run down Burton for the lead. It's good to see Matt Rodriguez back in this um, series once again. He has not been in the series for a, quite a long time now. He's been out for a while, but he is back and racing for this um, underfunded ethanol motorsports team. Um, alongside of him is that that is a new paint scheme for the Monster Energy Racing team. There, they are right. They have, uh, they are racing for the 31st spot there. And remember, they are kind of damaged there, or whatever. They are racing hard there. Here's another guy right here, not really um, having a good race right now. Outside the top 20 here, Jeff James and Andreas Allen there, and also Ashley Mace. They're high in the point standings there, and they're not having a very good day here, along with Jordan Davis, not Jordan Davis, but Jordan Fisher. He wrecked in the first caution there, so it's going to be interesting to see how the points shake up after this race. Caution is out. Oh, boy. Sean Galligan's in that one. Ashley Mace, a wreck happened in front of him. There's a wreck in turn three and four. The caution is out. 
Well, Stephen Jenkins was just going a lot down here, and he cut off Co uh, Sky Commons' group there. Boy, that was a heavy lick for Commons, and a larger right hit right there with um, Sean Galligan. But boy, that was, oh, Jordan Fisher got lucky there, but some drivers that really didn't deserve to be in that one there was in it. Well, guys, we are getting back in our way of racing once again. Eric Burton's going to take us down to the green. However, just completing the first lap back in our way of racing under green there. Here we are battling hard for the lead here. Nick Mays, Charles Sanford, that's Jeffrey Lynn on the bottom side for Horizon Group. What a great run for Jeffrey here. Jeffrey raced a Dodge for Allen Family Racing um, at Daytona in Las Vegas. And he raced the four Monster Energy car at um, New York. And here he is up in the mixer as well, but it all shook out. And Nick Mays is still your race leader. Jordan Fisher in that number two car came in this race 18 points ahead of Jeff James. And James is not that far ahead. He is actually struggling a lot this race. I don't know why. James is really far down the grid here. Third point standings right here. Andreas Allen, all of them not having a very good day so far. As we continue to watch some hard racing here, this is for second place right here. Nick Mace is kind of taking out the lead here. Um, Jesse Turner and Jake Bassinger clearing away up the middle there. Jesse Turner and Jake Bassinger up to second and third. Luke Martin out to fourth. Tur Bassinger, not Bassinger, but um, Burton's back to fifth now. And um, there's Jeffrey Lynn, Zeb Stark right there. This is also his um, first race since Daytona. Um, he's replacing Noah Hart who got injured in a Elite Series race there. But man, some fun racing here. Cody Lama's CBM teammate up here is also trying to get in the mix as well. His teammate won at Talladega, um, DJ Curtis there. He's trying to get inside the top 10 here. Um, and also Blue Flare Motorsports along with the guys that get their engines from, Jacob Park. They're up here running well as, as well. But up front, a battle for the lead now. Jesse Turner to the inside of Nick Mace. Boy, Mace has came really close to winning here. It's been forwards a lot this season. Um, BMW won at Daytona in a Holden car of Zachary Fitzwater's Trouble 5 car. Won at Road Atlanta. Besides that, it's been all forwards this season. Out of 12 races, there's been 10 Ford winners, and now Jesse Turner takes the lead in search for his first Sony Cup Series victory. But Mace is not going down without a fight to the inside of Turner, side by side down the stretch. Turner at the stripe, leads it there, and here comes Mace, driving it down low again. Mace is one of the few guys that is not a Ford up here battling for this win. We're only like with less than 25 laps to go here and it's going to be hectic down to the end of this race here for the battle for this win. Boy, look at this. Three wide racing here. Oh boy, Martin and Mace there kind of touched there down the straightaway. But man, Bassinger now the new leader. These guys continuing to race really hard. Mace trying to run down Bassinger, but oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Oh, five wide off turn number four. It's not going to work. Oh, boy. Jeffrey Lynn, Dom Caps, Eric Burton sliding down the stretch. Jeffrey Lynn saves it. Dom Caps, Eric Burton, be careful. There's right there Ryan Acosta. Jeff James is there. Ashley Mace. Oh, man. I knew that wasn't going to work there. Five wide. Sanford bounced off of Burton. And down into Lynn and Caps, he went. And, um... Burton kind of got the worst deal right here. Then there's Acosta and um, a lot of other guys that just came piling in. There's um, kind of a bad deal there. Well, the official is going to let them get back on their way of racing again here. With only a couple of laps to go here. Jake Bassinger is the leader there, but um, the four Rick Schultz is a lap down and he is in the way of Nick Mays here. And here comes Luke Martin and Jesse Turner. And I think that might be Cody Lamas. Yes, it is. But Trent Togger there. They're going on by there with Nick Mace getting held up by the four. Man, position by position is going away. Second at the start of that green flag run. Now he's down to 16th and finally gets low of that number four car there. But whoa, boy. Oh, there they go. There's a wreck behind them there. Ah, oh, man. And then Bob Zeb start there. His first race for Fuel Brothers Racing. Michael White, Sean Harful. And back to the finish line, it's Jake Bassinger. 
It kind of started with some hard racing here with Ashley Mace there. Watch Michael White down here. He got clipped by Cavanaro. And right there up to Ashley Mace, Rick Schultz, Zeb Stark there. And around they went there. And, um, yeah, nothing really they could have done there. Sean Harville, they was just really racing hard for position, trying to get around Rick Schultz, the Monster Energy car. And, wow, there was a wreck further behind him, further up there. And that was with both CBMs, with the um, DJ Curtis and Cody Lamas and Jeffrey Lynn again. Here it is here. Cody Lamas just got in the back end of Jeffrey Lynn and sent both the CBMs that was running up front around. Jeffrey Lynn saved it. But, yeah, oh boy, Curtis got lucky, did not get slammed there. But, yeah, two CBMs that was inside the top 10 battling for the win. Um, just lost it down the straightaway. Well, guys, here we go. 10 laps of racing to go here. Jake Bassinger had an amazing restart there over Luke Martin, Jesse Turner. Amazing run right now for Trek Hogger inside the top five. He has some Fuel Brothers racing equipment there, the engines. Then there's Jordan Davis, Jeffrey Lynn, who wrecked a couple of times here. He, he is still up here. Jeff James, who has struggled all races now inside the top 10. Oh, Dom Caps, he wrecked as well. Four wide. Jackson beating and banging off Allen. Allen's third in the point standings as well. Jacob Parts here as well, but up front. Bassinger trying to hold off for his second win of the season. Oh, boy, guys. You need to be careful here. Oh, boy. Jacob Parts and Sanford. Oh, Sanford just turned hard. Jacob Parts around and up the track in Adela Young, I think that was. Yes, it was. Oh, and Richard Johnson nails him. Four wide off the turn. There was Kavanaugh. Really kind of no room there. Beat off Kavanaugh, and Hart did not move over for Sanford to give him the room, and Sanford just dumped him. And there was Young. That was a hard hit nonetheless, and bam, there was Johnson to slam Jacob Hart there, but luckily no one else was going to hit him. Gillian was just trying to salvage a top 20 finish, and he gets involved in this one here. Richard Johnson's car has not been right all week here, and he's kind of struggled this race here, and he gets involved in this late race crash. That was a heavy look there on Jacob Hart there. They was four wide here with Sanford, but I mean, Jacob Hart just basically gave him no room here on the inside. Yes, yeah, Sanford needed to get back on the racetrack and Jacob Hart was just not giving him no room. Oh, and basically this was the race back to the finish line here with only a few laps to go here. The race back to the finish line, Luke Martin and Jesse Turner would get by Jake Bassinger. Bassinger is down to third. Luke Martin and Jesse Turner move up 1-2. And on the restart here, Luke Martin in search for his third win of the season and his 16th win of his career. He's trying to tie Eugene Max for 16 wins in the Sony Cup Series here. He's only got three laps to go here. Jesse Turner behind him. Jake Bassinger, teammates with Turner. Jordan Davis is looking for his first win since season seven. That was 12 seasons ago here. Turner drives it low here. Down the inside goes Jesse Turner. He might be getting his first win of the season in his career tonight. Turner tries to take the lead of the strike. Not enough. Two laps to go here. Martin holds the spot. Turner there side by side for third place on back. Turner not enough to be able to get underneath of Luke Martin there, but he's charging back. He got back on the gas really well off the exit here. Oh boy, Togger fighting hard here. Back to the finish line, white flag now in a turn of one. Turner trying all he can to get the bumper there to loosen him up here. Here he comes, Turner, Martin, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be another four going to victory lane, but which one is it? Turner Fenway, Corweiser racing, here we come. Coming back to the finish line, side by side, a dead heat off turn four. Turner or Martin, it's Turner the line, I think. Jesse Turner is going to finally score a win in the Sony Cup Series in a side by side finish with Luke Martin. And Jesse Turner finally pulls one off there. Jesse Turner finally wins a Sony Cup Series race. And he came so close to losing it, too. Martin had a run off the high side there. But Jesse Turner 
is going to steal the win here. Congratulations to Jesse Turner on the win here today. That was a really close finish there. And wow, don't even know how close that was. Oh my goodness. Turner was close to winning New York. He was in a side-by-side -side finish to the line in that race with Charles Sanford. How about this one here? He had the lead there. Um, but here at the stripe, man. Wow, Turner right there. That's with the difference there. Very, very close margin of victory there. There it is again here. Trying to get the best view that we can there. Martin was coming back, but it was not enough there. Jesse Turner's silver, they're, two, they're both silver there, but the silver and black, number 17 Ford, is going to victory lane here in Homestead, Florida. Jesse Turner finally wins one here in the Sony Cup Series. Been in the series since season 13, and, well, six seasons later, he gets his first ever Sony Cup Series win here. <clears throat> but some notables here, look about Trek Togger here, another top five finish this season. Um, got lucked up on one in Road Atlanta and another one here. Good one for him. And how about Stephen Paul the third coming up a top 10 finish there for Raven West Motorsports. That was a great finish for Stephen Paul the third there. Great run. And Vince Allen and Jeff James who struggled all race sort of um, managed to get back inside the top 10 late in the going. And Jeffrey Lynn who was involved in a couple of incidents there that should have took him out of the race there. Came back to finish in the top 10 for Horizon Group. Great run for them. And, yeah. Let's go ahead and get you to our finishing results and standings after Homestead. 